Phil's creepy vids. Hey there, horror fans. It's your buddy Phil here, and uh, I've had a good day today. I went out for breakfast with my mom and took her shopping, uh, had a little visit at her place, and then I had a dentist appointment, went and got my teeth cleaned. So, nice clean teeth, no cavities, so that's always a good thing. And uh, came home to a couple packages, so thought I'd unbox them here for you today, and I hope you get a kick out of it. First off, we have this month's Fright Crate. Uh, Fright Crate is a subscription box you order at the end of every month. Uh, on the first of every month, actually, at midnight, they go up on sale. Uh, it's www.frightcrate.net. Really great company, awesome stuff in these boxes. They do give a quote every month on the box. That's August's quote. And it says, Stay true to what scares you. If you don't respect that, you can't scare anyone. By Andre Muschietti, director of IT 2017. So, pretty cool quote. Um, like I said, I will leave the link in the description box below for Fright Crate. Make sure to go get yourself a box when they go on sale. And uh, I have seen others open this on YouTube, so I am spoiled. I know what's in this box already, but it is a kick-ass box, and I was definitely looking forward to getting mine. Uh, I do live in Canada, so usually everything comes to me a little later than everybody else. He does put uh, protective paper on the top, which is awesome, just so you won't cut any of the items while opening the box so let's get into it shall we first off the shirt is the shining with jack nicholson and you have the grady twins there and uh the big wheel going towards the twins uh danny that's his name. I had a brain fart there. Uh, Danny on the big wheel. Grady twins there covered in blood. And an evil, evil looking Jack with axe in tow. So, great t-shirt. Can't wait to wear that one for sure. Uh, next we have, it looks like, a couple of Return of the Living Dead coasters. And it features, I think her name was Trash, dancing naked on the tombstone, surrounded by some zombies. Uh, most people I have seen open these boxes got two. I got three for some reason, so that's cool. Bonus coaster. Sweet bonus coaster. But Return of the Living Dead, one of my favorite zombie flicks of all time for sure. Great looking coasters there. I probably won't use them as a coaster due to the fact that once these get wet, they get destroyed. But yeah, cool little items to display or, you know, if you have a friend that likes the movie, you could always give them one. Uh, next, we'll do the enamel pin. It is from Children of the Corn, Stephen King movie, one of my favorite Stephen King movies. Starring Linda Hamilton and Courtney Gaines. And here you have Isaac, I believe. Children of the Corn. And I don't know if that's picking that up good or not. But yeah, really nice looking pin. Uh, down here in the one corner is Malachi. And on the other corner is the, um, they call him the blue man on the crucifix in the cornfield. You can't really make it out on camera. It's just hidden in that little detail close to his shoulders there. But uh, that's a nice looking pin. It is double pin back. All the pins in Fright Crate are kick ass in my opinion. And next... 
We have uh, the Return of the Living Dead signed print. And it features Trash, Tarman, and uh, oh, what is his name in the movie? Can't Oh, Spider. That's it. Uh, Miguel Nunez Jr. is brought to you by Mintic Authentics. It is guaranteed authentic and will pass any third-party inspection. So there's his signature right there. That is the guy who played Spider. Uh, Miguel Nunez Jr. He was also featured in um, Friday the 13th Part 5. Gets killed in the outhouse. Uh, singing that song. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. So, yeah. Pretty cool signature. It will go in my signature album. Uh, I have a whole album that I put these in. So, that's cool. Nice addition to that. And... There is even a bottom box liner, which is awesome. Jay, your packaging is awesome. So we have an exclusive Return of the Living Dead autograph. Truth be told, we at Fright Crate have always been fans of Miguel Nunez Jr. We are, we are so excited to have him in the box for his role as Spider in this iconic movie. Exclusive art by Max Cave. Max... You did it again, man. You hit it out of the park. That is awesome, awesome art. The detail that goes into Max Cave's drawings, unprecedented. Uh, oh, I forgot to open the, uh, the bust. So this is from Cyril Resin Co. They usually have a piece in every freight crate. And hopefully it's not broken. I don't think it is, although it's covered with some styrofoam. And it is Shorty from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. This is from Cyril Resin Co., Darren Mitchell, and uh, Jay, the proprietor of Fright Crate. So really good detail on the Shorty uh, bus there. It's got his little gun there. Good detail on that. Excellent paint job. Really, really happy that it came in one piece. And it will go right on the shelf with my other Cyril Resin Co. pieces. And he does stand very, very well. So he is the exclusive Shorty Bust Killer Clowns brought to us by Cyril Resin Co. This mischievous intergalactic clown is going to zap his way into your hearts. Isn't he adorable? CerealResinCo.com He is adorable. I like clowns. Exclusive Overlooked Shirt, The Shining. All work and no play makes Jack a doll boy. Exclusive artwork by Max Cave. Take a trip on a descent into madness. Axe not included. And one more time for the t-shirt. Awesome, awesome shining shirt. Really glad to have this one, guys. So, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, where am I? Exclusive Children of the Corn pin. Uh, right here. Don't fall for Isaac's gaze. This pin is 1.75 inches, soft enamel, double post. So there you go, double post. After this video, I will be putting it on my pin board, which is pretty full right now. I almost need to buy another one. Then we have exclusive Return of the Living Dead coaster set. As I said before, most people got two. I happen to get three. Uh, so there you go, Return of the Living Dead coaster set. Coaster set inspired from the film Drink Up. So there you go, that was this month's box. Uh, next month's box is It Chapter 2, 13 Ghosts, Stranger Things, and a Mystery Horror Blu-ray, and Saw. So, get yourself a box, go to FrightCrate.net, and uh, yeah, get yourself some cool horror merch. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next on to this package, I'm doing these two packages in one go just to do one big video. 
And this came, I believe, from Diabolic DVD. I think, if I'm not mistaken, if it's what I think it is. And yes. So this is Possession. Um, Possession by Anzej Zulowski. It's a 1981 film starring Sam Neill. Uh, this is limited to 2,000 numbered copies, and, uh, I gotta tell you, it's a big, heavy-duty possession Blu-ray. Comes with, I believe, the, yep, Blu-ray feature film, soundtrack, CD, plus a whole bunch of other stuff. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll crack into it. Or try to. If you are a fan of my channel, you know I'm a sucker for like German imports of Blu rays and big Blu ray sets and yada yada, this, that, the other thing. So it does have one of those uh, liner notes of what it has in it. I'll move that to the side. And the box is felt, um, kind of like a felt material overlay with uh, embossed writing. And uh, if you haven't seen Possession from 1981, it is a crazy film, but it is also a beautiful, beautiful film to look at. Uh, I don't really want to get into this too much because there's a lot in here. Here's the slip cover case looks pretty cool like I said felt soft felt material and uh, I think it's magnetized so where will I set this I'm running out of room guys so it's got this uh, it's like a magnet magnet so that's how you open the set and there's the inside of the set there. And then I believe that this is also a magnet. No, nope. maybe oh, right here where the books and stuff are. So this just folds out and there are your two Blu-rays, soundtracks, yada, yada, yada. And then this is another magnet right here. And it folds out to show you all the art cards and a book and everything. So I will take this out and show that real quick. Um, so you have a book. It says Possession. Cool uh, like brick pattern on the back. And it is just one of those books of the making on the film. You got pictures, yada, yada, yada very cool book and it is it's 82 pages long so I will have to check that out at some point uh, let's see what else do we have in here certificate of authenticity possession I have 1725 of 2000 so another little one of those slip slip cards and then you have the original soundtrack track listings. You have chapter listings and technical information. Because the Blu-rays don't really have a case to put that on. So listed individually. Then we have a looks like a Japanese. Japanese. Uh, what do you call it? Lobby card type of deal. And I can't stress to you guys enough, like, watch this movie. It's a crazy, crazy flick. And here you have some art cards. Very, very cool art cards. There is a lot of nudity in this movie. If you're a fan of TNA, uh, you could go go uh, watch it because of that. 
It is a very violent movie as well. There, there definitely is some blood. Uh, I believe some good creature effects close to the end. Don't want to give too, too much away. We'll just slip that in there after. I'm not too sure what's in here. I think it's more lobby cards, if I'm not mistaken. Quite a few of them in there, so let's see what we have. Yep, just lobby cards. And I am seeing these for the first time with you. Some crazy blood there. Sam Neill strangling a guy. Sam Neill looks so young, like 81, 91, 2001, 2011. This was like over 30, this was almost 40 years ago. So there you go. That is the possession limited to 2,000 sets. And uh, glad to have it in my collection for sure. I actually can't wait to watch this movie because I haven't seen it for quite a few years. Uh, so it'll be fun to revisit and I also like checking out special features and everything like that. So uh, I hope everybody out there had a great day. This is definitely one of the longest YouTube videos on my channel for a while. I'm up to almost 17 minutes. My videos usually are 5 minutes or just to shake over. Um, but I hope everybody out there had a good day and I hope everybody out there has a good night. And uh, until my next video, that's my time. Thanks for yours. Have a great day, guys. Peace! So if you guys like that video, comment down below, hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in Phil's next video. Peace!